Hola, como estas? How art thou? I'm back again, obviously, three weeks later. Three weeks too late. Three weeks too late. Someone clocked onto my watch the other day and I just told him it's my time. So I just really wanted to get that in there. That's what she said. In three weeks time from today, I'll be waking up with a sore hangover and probably a bruised eye. Possibly, depends if my hands are there, protect yourself at all times. That should be the advert for Durex really, shouldn't it? Not Durex. No, it is Durex. Condoms, contraception. Speaking of which, obviously I'll touch upon uh, the Conor Ben situation. Obviously, suddenly believe that I think he was probably competing for the IVF um, world title, obviously. Um, some would say his defense was impregnable. Others would say otherwise. So supplements, I get there in the end. This is the main theme of the video itself. One of the main supplements I take to help me with my energy levels, as well as a bit with recovery as well, because it does help with that I've found, is creatine. So I am on the creatine tabs. Uh, it does help me with my performance in terms of explosivity uh, and a little bit of sort of almost what they would say is anaerobic endurance. So I can perform a little bit longer in an explosive pace um, in comparison to when I don't take uh, creatine, at least that's what I found. A lot of it may even be placebo. For me, it just works how it does. And it helps me sort of feel a little bit more stronger and a little bit fitter and faster when I'm training if I'm on creatine supplementations. I normally supplement with that at a cycle of around about sort of eight to six weeks. So on the night of the fight, about half an hour before I go out, I will take three of those. And I just obviously, that will just get me sort of geared up a little bit more and ready for action, if you like. Um, Another supplement that I like to take as well as that is to help with recovery um, and keep myself um, or keep my immunity quite strong. Because obviously I'm training at high intensity at the moment. My body and my central nervous system is under a lot of stress. So therefore that lowers the immune system. I do believe, probably a bit ignorant on this one, about an hour after I train. Um, and throughout the day as well, I'm more susceptible to illnesses. Um, I do work in an office um, outside of my personal mm. training stuff. So I'm well, exposed a, a lot to illnesses in a closed space. Uh, and thanks to the wonderful air ventilation we have at work. Thanks for that. Cheers, buddies. Um, so I do take um, multi-complex, uh, complex multivitamin um, complex. That actually does not a complete multivitamin complex. See, look, doesn't help with the English though, unfortunately. I'm still illiterate as hell. Um, but this, again, it just helps with the immune system side of things and it helps obviously my body to absorb the nutrients that I'm taking through with my food as well as that. Um, another thing I take as well, uh, just to help with any niggly injuries I may have had uh, during this training camp, is turmeric. So it is something that is like an anti-inflammatory. So if I had like, let's say for example, a bit of a niggle in my knee or something, which does tend to happen during these sort of training camps, I am getting older, unfortunately. Wrong side of 25, or should I say 27? Late 20s? Nope, still in my 20s. Tangent again, tangent peach. Um, I take turmeric because it lowers the inflammation in the joints. Uh, it allows me obviously to recover in between sessions and obviously overnight helps me to build and um, strengthen up my joints uh, in order to cater for me when I do train as well. If you are new to boxing or if you're training for your first ever fight, whether it be white collar or amateur, you'll find you'll have niggly injuries here and there. I mean, obviously I've had two train. Well, this will be my third training camp ready for a fight. And I do tend to find I have a little niggle here and there. Maybe I've overextended my arm when throwing a punch. Um, maybe I haven't stepped in or maybe I've caught my nose one too many times. Um, having these sort of supplements, it does help, I believe, um, in terms of preventing your injury um, from getting any worse. I could have explained that a lot better, but obviously English is not my forte. Or is it my 30? Uh, another one I like to take as well with recovery and obviously to support myself, because as I said, I'm training sometimes twice a day at a high intensity. So I do need to have that sort of in between recovery without going over the top with my calories because as i said with myself i'm weighing in at 72 73 kilos i normally walk around about 79 uh, kilos if i'm not taking care of my diet and i'm still training as normal so obviously i need to keep the calories at a reasonable sort of like low but also supplement myself with things that are in low calorie but also will support me in terms of building repairing my muscles so another one is bcaa so i do take branch chain amino acids Two things that does for me. One, when I've got cravings, when I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry, I'm normally thirsty. You'll hear that quite a lot. If you are really hungry, take, you know, have a drink of water and then see if you're still hungry. Not in times out of 10, it might be the stomach lining that's telling you that it's empty and therefore you need to fill that up again. Sparkling water is good for that. Um, but another thing for me is having such a thing as branched chain amino acids because I'm drinking something. So obviously that's keeping my sort of oral fixation um, 
catered for or op occupied. Um, yes, I do have an oral fixation, um, not in the way that you'd think. And honestly, as much as I really want to make a, a silly joke with it, it is genuinely a thing, especially amongst people with eating disorders. And I consider myself to have somewhat of an eating disorder, I suppose. Tangent again, but that sort of helps me with that. So branch chain amino acids for the recovery. So the three things or four things that I'm actually on, including one more, which is also omega-free fish tablets for the brain, although you wouldn't believe it, as well as the joints. So just to summarise, things that I'm on, creatine tablets, uh, free before the session, 30 minutes to an hour before, and then free after the session, 30 minutes before uh, to an hour afterwards. Um, multivitamins, um, free a day, each with um, each meal I have, I have three meals a day. Then of course, you've got one of these turmeric bad boys, uh, one a day, uh, and then obviously just a scoop of this bad boy once a day as well, just to support with my food. And it's doing okay for me, I suppose. Um, I do train relatively hard, or I consider myself to train very consistently and very religiously. Um, and as with any person that's had any form of addiction, I have an addiction to exercise. I freaking love it. Um, I love training, so things like this do help, uh, rather than me sort of just eating my guts out and then, you know, <laughs> going out on the night and weighing, you know, like Paddy Pimblet on an off-season. So yeah, then I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a ramble. I will, I won't lie to you, um, but it's something that obviously is quite relevant to what I'm doing in terms of training. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. All the best. God bless. See you soon. Peace. Hidden message um, in relation to my nutrition because I'm obsessed with eating the exact same thing over and over again because it's low in calories and quite frankly I enjoy it to be honest with you. Although it does make my breath stink apparently, allegedly. Uh, is rice rice baby in relation to rice cakes so if you get to the end of this video muchos gracias and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>